This video is going to show you how to make announcements in D2L. So from your course home, go to and click on the announcement button. If it's not there, you can go under the communication tab and click on it as well. So hit new announcement. So for a best practice, I'm going to make a weekly check-in for my online learning support students. So I'm going to name this weekly update and I'm going to put the date April 1st. So then I'm going to type the text of my message class. I'm going to put I'm going to go back after the video is done and add more stuff to them. But what I might want to do is do things to remember. So I might do here are important upcoming dates. So for mine, they're going to know that the homework in my math lab for the third, oops, or let's do that for unit three is due April 15th, 2020. Okay. Also, another thing that's due for them is quiz five and six are due April 15th. 2020. And one thing I can do is because I already have these set up in here, because if they're set up in D2L, you can call to them and link them together. If they're in a third party site, you can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this little, it looks like a little insert quick link. And then I'm going to go to my oops, quizzes and I'm going to go find my quizzes. So I'm going to link to this one and I'm going to link to quiz six for them. You can do this for exams that you've set up under quizzes, whatever you need to do. So there they are, and I can put this, the links to both quizzes are below. And you can say it any other way you want to. Sometimes I don't usually call them what they are with that because students don't understand what those links are. Okay, so I've made my important dates. I'm gonna make this like this, this like this. I'm gonna leave the quizzes like that so they can see them. Oops, and now let me go down here and then I'm gonna do another one. So now I'm gonna say discussion three is also due April 15th, come on 2020. So then again, I'm going to go do another one. I'm going to undo this so I can put it down here. Do this. Okay. So then again, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to discussions and class discussions. And then I'm going to link to this one so they see it's there. Okay. And then you might want to just close with what they need to do for me. Then I've hold them the upcoming dates. Another important thing to do is um, here is the Zoom link for the class or whatever. Go ahead and put it there again. All you can do, all you have to do is copy and paste that link so they have it. Make sure just to keep putting those kind of things in there for them for them to see it. If you don't want to start it yet, you can put a start date for it. It'll show up. Say I want to do this tomorrow morning. And I'm going to do it. That'll open at, I'm going to say it'll open at, I usually do it really early in the morning. And then I will go down here and hit publish. And the cool thing is right here, it will show that it will, it is scheduled to be released. If you want it released immediately, you edit it. And then you just put the start date, you hit the start date as now. And that's how you can make interactive discussions that they can click on the links and go where they need to. Thanks.